Okay, so I lied. This is a complete drugstore makeup tutorial except for the exception of one product and I think it's just my brows. So I'm going to start out with L'Oreal's Miracle Blur for my primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. And then I had that primer stuck under my nail the whole time so let's not talk about it. So foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and I'm really liking this. I'm really impressed with this foundation. I haven't used drugstore foundation in so long but this one is so good. I really like it and I'm in the shade, um, it's like golden, golden beige or something like that. It's number 104. I'll have it listed below. I actually got this thinking it was too dark for me because they only literally had like four shades available at the store I went to, but then it kind of worked out good. And for a color corrector, I'm going to use this NYX one, and I, it's in the shade light, which isn't as peachy as I would like it. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Sigma E40 blending brush. And for concealer, I couldn't, I couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted to use, the LA Girl Cosmetics or the Maybelline Match Master, so I ended up using both. <laughs> I used the LA Girl Cosmetics one first, and then to kind of highlight, I used the Match Master by Maybelline, and they actually have heard this one is a lot like the NARS Creamy um, Concealer, but I haven't tried that one, so I don't really know. I don't really like drugstore um, concealers because they don't really seem to have like the colors that's right for me. They, and they're usually on like the pinkier side, which I like a I like a, a little bit more yellow concealer. And plus, I don't think that I can't find any that are like really full coverage at the drugstore. Okay, I lied again. To set my under eyes, I actually used the Ben Ben Nye Cameo Powder. I really didn't have time to go to the drugstore and actually look for products so I just kind of used what I had. And then to set everything I'm going to use this NYX blotting powder and the one I'm using is actually the medium dark I think because the lighter color is really super light like it looks white. And then for a bronzer I'm going to use this e.l.f. bronzer and blush duo and I believe this is the only like there's no color I think they only have one I'm not sure. Um, and this is like a really good dupe for two NARS products. This bronzer was actually coming out kind of patchy, so I really had to blend it out really good. But like I said, I didn't have time to go to the store and actually look for more products. It's just these are the ones I had on hand. And I actually filmed this tutorial while really super quick while my daughter was asleep, so <laughs> I was kind of in a hurry. And just to clean up that bronzer, I used um, a sponge and the blotting powder that I used and just ran that along the lower end of it. And then for blush, I'm going to use the same one from the e.l.f. kit and I really, really, really like this blush. It's just so pretty. It's got a pretty shimmer to it but not like a chunky glitter shimmer. And for a highlight, I actually use this Physicians Formula Powder. It's actually a powder but it has a really pretty shimmery highlight. And then I just did my brows and I used the Sigma Brow Powder. And for to clean up underneath, I used the Maybelline Match Master Concealer. And then since, since I didn't have a base, a drugstore base for my eyes, I kind of ran that concealer um, a little bit lower and blended that out on the lid with my finger. And for my eyes, I started a little bit different and I used this NYX um, shadow in, I think it's called Gill Trip. And it's just like a really pretty dark brown color and I just applied that with my Sigma E35 or E25 blending brush into the outer crease and then blended that out with a Coastal Sense blending brush. And then for my transition color, I'm going to use this like lighter brown color and I'm just going to take that um, just above my crease and make sure that dark brown color is blended out a little bit more nicely and I probably if I had time would have chose a little color with a little bit more orange to it. For the lid color this is a L'Oreal infallible color and I've had this color for so long and it's not supposed to be loose like this. It actually comes with a little flat top to like flatten it and of course nobody has time to take that in and out so I threw it away and then it broke. <laughs> And then taking that same dark brown color that I used first on the lower lash line and I'm using a Sedona lace brush to do this. For the black in my waterline, I use this L'Oreal um, Smoldering Eye Pencil. It goes on really smooth and creamy. 
And then for liner, you know I gotta use that NYC liquid liner in, I think it's just black. And these lashes are the Ilor Vegas Nay Shining Star Lashes with the pretty perfect individuals thrown in also. I kind of like customize them to make them a little bit longer. To highlight that inner corner, I used the Morphe Brushes um, Jaclyn Hill Palette. Technically, this is not a drugstore product, but it's still like a lower price product. And for lips, I use this LA Girl um, Lip Liner in Deep Plum, and really I just use it more as a guideline. And then for lips, I use this NYX um, lipstick in, I think it's called Siren, but it was a little bit too purplish for me. So then I went in with um, the Mary Jane lipstick by NYX, and then I kind of like mixed them together to get the color that I liked. <laughs> 